I grew up in Bombay, mm -hmm. in India. Um, it was always the, I mean, I didn't always study a lot, but mm -hmm. I was a nerd. Mm -hmm. But it's just that I loved reading and I loved, uh, I didn't have a lot of friends, but all the teachers and the parents of all the children were my friends. Oh, really? Like, I always kind of hung out more with the adults and I just, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's just who I was. Um, and I loved being in school, like I loved giving exams, like that mm. was my whole, like you know, I thrived in that kind of environment. And then when I was 17, I moved to the US, mm -hmm. so I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do uh, research and you know, I, was, I knew I was interested in brain science mm -hmm. and I did a lot of like uh, researching and I couldn't really find exactly what I wanted to do in India. And so I was like, I want to go to the US, this is the school I want to go to. I did my undergrad, I double majored in uh, genetics and neuroscience mm -hmm. and really loved the neuroscience part of it. So then I decided to do a PhD in neuroscience. Um, it was very, uh, it was very difficult, mm -hmm. but a rewarding six years, um, like total 11 years my undergrad God. and grad yeah. school. Um, and then I kind of moved uh, to Dubai because mm -hmm. my husband lives here mm -hmm. and we were in, in a long distance relationship for the entire uh, time of my PhD. Mm -hmm. And I moved here and I, I was kind of looking for, you know, neuroscience stuff that I could do. Didn't find that many opportunities. And then I heard about neurofeedback and I decided to start something on my own. <laughs> Dr. Upasana Gala is the founder and CEO of Evolve Brain Training, a neurofeedback centered institute that focuses on using non invasive brain training techniques to maximize the brain's true potential. Earning a doctorate in neuroscience from the Baylor College of Medicine, she has spent over a decade trying to unravel the way neurochemical or neurophysiological changes in the brain affect the way we interact with the world. This passion and curiosity for the subject have led her to make the brain her full-time vocation. Dr. Gala is one of the few women in STEM in the UAE, working on promoting and actioning future forward technology to help individuals and businesses alike reassess the way they think and perform. Her goal is to share her teachings, encourage others to tap into and expand their brain's capabilities and dispel any myths surrounding our most complex organ. I invited her in my studio to know more about her and also about neurofeedback. And so tell us more about what is neurofeedback all about? So neurofeedback is uh, feedback for the brain. Mm -hmm. um, and imagine this, the simplest way I explain to people is imagine you're walking by a mirror and your hair is messed up. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look in the mirror, you get that information about your hair being messed up, so you fix it, mm -hmm. right? So that's exactly what we do with the brain. We show the brain its own activity in real time. Mm -hmm. And when the brain sees what it's doing wrong, it can essentially self-correct and self-regulate. Because our brains and our bodies, we have the self-correcting mechanism, but only if they know what they're doing wrong. How does the brain know it's something that we are doing something wrong? So uh, the way we show the brain what it's doing is using sensors that we attach to the scalp mm -hmm. and these sensors are listening and monitoring your brain's EEG activity. Okay. So you know how you listen to the ECG of the heart? Just like that, this is listening to the EEG of the brain. Mm -hmm. um, and then this information about your brain's EEG activity is translated by my software onto a video output. So during a session, you're sitting in a chair watching your favorite movie on Netflix mm -hmm. while the sensors are attached to you. And the Netflix screen will change in size and clarity yeah. and the sound will change in volume in real time based on your own brain waves. So that's how the brain gets feedback about its own activity. Mm -hmm. um, and then over time, so say for example, one of your issues is that you can't focus properly. Mm -hmm. Then every time you are focused, the screen will become full screen, it will be clear and the sound will be good which is a positive reward for the brain. Okay. But if you get distracted, bored, think of the thoughts in your head, screen will start getting smaller, mm -hmm. blurrier, and the sound will get more muffled. Right. Now, as I said, the big screen and the good sound are a positive reward for the brain. Mm -hmm. Brain likes it. So brain will try to do more and more of the activity that gives it that positive reward. Okay. So it will try to be more and more focused or calm or relaxed or whatever it is we're training your mm -hmm. brain to do. Mm -hmm. Eventually, when you do this kind of training many, many times, this new way of being more calm, more focused, becomes your brain's new habit. So that's the basis of neurofeedback technology. What we do 
is we train your brain away from the current patterns of mm-hmm. whatever distraction, anxiety, depression, whatever they may be, and create these new patterns of calmness, happiness, focus until these new patterns become a habit for you. Uh, being in the health industry, I know that uh, more and more people are going through depression, anxiety is such a big issue, yeah. and even uh, weight gain or Absolutely. weight loss or interpersonal relationships, yeah. just generally anything to do with overall well-being. So, yeah. so you are telling me that neurofeedback can solve all these issues. Yes. The- so just think about all these issues. What is the What's the problem in these issues? Mm-hmm. Something that your brain is doing, right? Your focus is related to what your brain is. In fact, all your all the things that you think, do, behave, act, feel are because of signals in your brain. Right. So if you fix the signals in your brain, all of these issues, whether it be focus or harmony in your home mm-hmm. or uh, you know social behavior, all of these things can be fixed. Um, and one of the biggest reasons people come to me is for anxiety and stress-related issues right. in this day and age. Yeah, 80% of my clientele is coming to me for stress relief. Mm-hmm. And even when they have, they have like physical symptoms of stress, you know. Um, I had one client who came to me, he has this like really bad bloating and stomach issues for years. Like he's been having this for years and it's, he said that recently it's gotten worse and he's gone to all, he's gone to, he's gone to like gastroenterologists, mm. gone to neurologists, all these people. And they're like, we can't find anything, find anything. wrong in your stomach, your stomach's fine. And he's like, it's not fine because mm. I feel all these things. And so he just started with me a few weeks ago and we are only halfway through his uh, program and already he's like, you look at him, he's, he looks like a completely different person. Amazing. He looks 10 years younger. He's like, I have not felt my stomach hurt in mm. you know how, five weeks that he's been there. And he just like, he looks, he dresses different, he looks happier mm-hmm. and, and he's like, I'm able to, even though this was not his main issue, he's like, I can actually focus better at stuff because his anxiety has reduced. So uh, his, his health has improved. So now he actually can focus better at work, at school, uh, at home and all these mm-hmm. kind of things. In fact, just before you came, I was doing this uh, episode on mindset and health and how much our mindset really influences yeah. the kind of health and well-being we have, or we attract towards us. And so it's very important uh, not to just focus on what's there on your plate, but also focus on what's going on in your head, your interpersonal relationships, the stress levels, everything else. These are all primary foods. I feel whatever is there on the plate is a secondary food. So you're very much dealing with and helping people with their primary foods that they need to focus on. Another major issue that people have and that's affecting all aspects of their life is sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about it. Um, I have The reason I got into neurofeedback actually is because of my sleep issues. So I had been suffering from insomnia for a very long time, 10, 15 years, and was all because of my anxiety. Mm-hmm. So I would lay in bed, ready to go to sleep, wanting to go to sleep, but my brain would just not shut up. It would just keep on thinking and it's like there was a radio on in my brain and I just didn't know where the off button mm-hmm. was. Um, and then I heard about neurofeedback and that's why I wanted to try it for myself and it was absolutely life-changing for me. I cannot tell you, Uma, I feel like honestly the weight of the world has been lifted off of my mm-hmm. shoulders. Like this, I, Now I recognize the same issue that in the past I would just keep thinking about thinking or about. now it's, it doesn't do anything to me. I'm like, I don't even recognize it. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God, the same thing. I would just keep on thinking about it but now it has no effect on me. I think that's uh, such a good point because a lot of people have this issue and that's the main core uh, cause of anxiety that is if there's something happening in your life Mm -hmm. you just make a big deal out of it in your head and something or the other is always happening in life in everyone's (laughs) life you know and we all have a choice either to make a big deal out of it or just go past it. Right. But going past it is needs and strength and exactly. not everyone and emotional has emotional resilience. Strength. Exactly. Yeah. And so I guess neurofeedback can Absolutely. really help That's people. What, the two things neurofeedback does for you is we make your brain more resilient mm-hmm. so that no matter what stress or what situation life throws at you, your brain still functions the way it would without, without you know, succumbing to these uh, pressures. And the other thing we do is we make your brain more flexible. So it can adapt to the different situations. So when your brain needs to be in this high gear, it can be in high gear. Right. But when it's time to be in low gear, your brain has to be able to move. And that's what we help your brain. So we help your brain move through these different gears, shift through them easily, mm-hmm. and be more resilient. So that no matter what life throws at you, you can be strong, you can be focused, and you can be happy.
So how does it work now if somebody decides to come to you uh, to evolve brain training? What is the first step and then how do you go about it? So the very first step is I do a full length consultation with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we ask detailed questions about your yeah, eating habits, sleeping habits, thoughts, anxiety, family history, all of these things. And then we do something called brain map. Mm -hmm. So in the brain map, what we do is we're collecting data from different points in your brain and we are comparing it to the data collected from brains of other people, your age and your gender. Mm -hmm. And we see where you fall on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So now if you're below or above the normal threshold in any of the parameters, it will give me some indications that you might have issues with anxiety or issues with depression or focus or whatever. And then based on that, um, uh, we also do other tests that measure your attention span, impulse control, uh, response rate, so how fast you respond to information. Um, and then we do symptom tracking. So we pick 10 to 20 symptoms that the client really cares about, and we rate how bad they are before the start of any sessions, from zero to 10, 10 being the worst. And then based on all this information, based on their consultation, based on their brain mapping results, based on their test scores, and based on their symptoms, I create a personalized program for each client. Okay. And we start with their uh, neurofeedback brain training programs. We do 10 sessions first, and mm -hmm. then we repeat the brain map to see how their brain has changed. We repeat the test to see how their scores have improved, and we repeat the symptom tracking, which I care about the most. Mm -hmm. Because if you tell me now you're sleeping better, you're no longer anxious, you're more focused at work, then I care about that much more mm -hmm. than what the map or the test says. But the map and the test, they're a good quantitative validation of your symptoms improving right. and then we do 10 more sessions of neurofeedback and again we repeat all the uh, the tracking methods so we can monitor that progress mm -hmm. the reason we do 20 sessions is because what we're doing in neuro neurofeedback is we're training your brain to learn a new habit right and for your brain to learn any new habit I'm, as I'm sure you know you mm -hmm. need to do it 21 days and only then it becomes a habit for your brain right so that's why we do 20 sessions it doesn't mean you have to wait 20 sessions to see the benefits mm -hmm. you should already start seeing changes from session 5 or 6 onwards but for these changes to be long lasting, so you don't have to keep coming back to me, that's why we recommend a minimum of 20 sessions. Right. And so I would like to tell my viewers that I've gone through 20 sessions myself uh, yeah. for various issues. Firstly, I couldn't focus at all at that time. I yeah. was, it was very, very difficult for me to even read a few right. sentences together. And after going through all those sessions, I've come up with whole digital course, which has like 28 videos, Congratulations. everything written by me, <laughs> you know, which is soon going to be launched. Uh, so it did help. And of course, uh, the edginess and yes, the irritability, irritability. Uh, which was another issue that uh, that I was facing. I still mm -hmm. do, but it's way lesser than mm -hmm. uh, the frequency. Come back to me, do a few more sessions that will go away. <laughs> I need to do that. So I, it's a first-hand experience. I've gone through that experience, and of course, uh, initially I was a bit, a bit skeptical. But then, mm -hmm. when, when I went through the sessions, I did see uh, the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, tell my viewers what are these? I enjoyed my sessions. Yeah. I mean, they're like just amazing. When we so, talk about brains, the <laughs> first thing is like, oh my God, what are they going to do? But the sessions were the amazing. Session is really fun. You you just have to sit in a chair, a very comfortable chair, and watch your favorite show on Netflix. That's all you have to do. And the rest of the things we are doing, we are monitoring your bra brain waves while you're doing this, and we're giving feedback back to your brain in the form of the screen and the sound changing. But all you have to do is just enjoy your favorite show. So it's the most fun way to improve your brain, to improve your anxiety, to improve your focus, to improve your sleep. Um, so you don't really have to do that much. All you have to do is come into my office. Amazing, and I, that was really the time I was looking forward to because I don't get time to Isn't watch enough? Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like yeah. literally going there and watching Netflix. And also I really enjoyed the, the waves, the theta and the alpha theta. The alpha yeah. theta. I think those were really yeah. very, very calm. So the alpha theta training we do after we have done 10 to 15 sessions mm. of uh, the other neurofeedback, the alpha theta training is really for, to, for, for your core sense of Self. So it improves your confidence, improves your productivity, mm. and it basically, so I've heard uh, maybe you and others describe it mm. as something that was holding them back has been cut off. Right. That's how they feel. They feel yeah. free, they feel more energetic, they feel more creative, more productive, mm. and it, it's just, for every client it's a different experience, but it's always something along the vein of this. Right. It is something that people have to come for, right? So you're based in Dubai, yes. of course, I have viewers all over the yeah. world. Uh, they can find their center, but uh, otherwise they'll have to they come. They have to come to. to and yeah, currently I'm the only one offering this kind of service in mm. Dubai, and it, it really is life-changing. 
the first, I know because you have to come, it's hard for me to get people, but after they do the first five sessions, they want to come themselves because then they start seeing the changes and then I have to like, I don't have to keep pushing them. So it's really the first three or four sessions you have to make the effort and then you'll want to come because you will see the changes yourself. Great. Uh, and uh, you described the sessions very well. It is not something to be intimidated uh, by. It, you, people can just walk it's in. It's completely like, non-invasive. Yeah. We actually do, uh, my youngest client is five years old. So mm -hmm. we do it on kids as well. Uh, kids for focus, for childhood anxiety, for social interactions, mm -hmm. all these kind of things. So it's completely non-invasive. It's completely safe. We're not actually doing any, we're not putting any information into your brain or not doing anything that goes in. We are right. only listening to your brain waves and giving you feedback in the form of the screen. That's it. So Upasna, last but not the least, uh, if you have to tell my viewers one thing about neurofeedback, what would it be? Why should they come to you? Um, I will say three things. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's completely non-invasive, so no medications, no drugs, nothing. Second is the effects are long lasting. So just, up, you know, if you come to me and do your 20 sessions and you stop, it doesn't mean your uh, effects are going to go away. These effects are literally lifelong. So unless a major event happens in your life, these effects are going to be there for a very long time. You'll still continue to be confident, focused, uh, sleep well, whatever you came to me for. And the other thing is we target the root cause of the problem. So instead of just working on your symptoms, we actually find out what the reason is that's causing you to behave a certain way or have uh, certain problems and then we fix those issues. Thank you for coming here. I think it's something that I've done for the first time and uh, I'm sure my ha viewers are happy to know that they can now change their brain. As they say, change their brain, change your brain change and change, your, brain, change your, life. your life. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. It was, it was so much fun. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.